Everything is collapsing. Nine. Sonic Prime, the animated series, is quickly coming to an end, with season 3 aiming to wrap up all the unresolved issues from the previous batch of episodes. But fans are still expecting a season 4 release. So what happens next? Sonic Prime is the sixth animated TV series based on the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series. Sonic's adventures are brought to life on screen in this co-produced series by Sega of America, Netflix Animation, Wild Brain Studios, and Man of Action Entertainment, which shows shows Sonic's adventures from a different angle. I betrayed you and left us to die. Jump! I have the power. Beyond the standard of plot foiling Dr. Eggman's schemes to destroy the universe, Sonic Prime offers a more complex narrative. Sonic Prime delivered a shocking ending in season 3 of the hit animated series after years of stunning Netflix viewers. Prime gave fans a fresh perspective on the blue blur universe created by Sega, narrating an entirely new tale about Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends. This critically acclaimed retelling of Sonic lore saw friends turn into foes and enemies into allies in a story that accumulated in a conflict with potentially universe-altering ramifications. The final episode of Sonic Prime's third season reveals that Shadow brings Sonic to the gateway right before he vanishes from the world. I can transform the Grim. Make it my paradise! It marks their return to episode 1 where Sonic reunites with his old friends. He not only sees his friends, but Eggman too. Together with his allies, Sonic fights Eggman. Thankfully, Shadow shows up this time and uses the prism to teleport himself to an unidentified location as Eggman tries to take the prism once more. This blocks Eggman's scheme. After a short while, everything seems to be returning to normal and Sonic and his friends enjoy a picnic. But normalcy isn't maintained for very long. While Sonic narrates his adventure, in the Shadowverse, something unexpected happens. Sonic and his companions are thrown back into a fight by a massive enigmatic shockwave. Without offering a satisfying resolution, the series ends on a cliffhanger. This prompted many to make predictions about the potential of the show going forward. The series' narrative comes to an end in the third season, whether it is a fitting conclusion or not. Therefore, some fans think it's possible that a fourth season won't be produced. On the other hand, a fourth season may happen as fans believed given that the cliffhanger has set up possibilities for a potential continuation. There hasn't been an official announcement about Season 4 as of yet. As of now, it has not been cancelled or renewed. Although fans loved and appreciated Sonic Prime's first two seasons, rumors about a fourth possible season may have already started to circulate among fans of the show, even though the third season of Sonic Prime just dropped on January 11th, 2024. With an impressive 85% average audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a strong 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb, Sonic Prime has garnered positive reviews from fans. Given that writing and filming have not yet started, fans may be able to see Sonic Prime Season 4 on screens by mid-2025 or late 2026 if the show is renewed for a fourth season. It makes sense that fans are frustrated by the absence of a definitive response regarding the Shadowverse's future. Ian Flynn voiced his opinion saying he preferred to wait to talk about Prime's placement until it was finished. He continued by saying that Prime is irrelevant other than the fact that it wipes itself out and that it is placed sometime after Advance 3. Whatever he's up to, it's causing this world to fracture. The Grim is starting to decay! Flynn added that he didn't want to give away the Prime finale and that viewers should just enjoy it if they did or ignore it if they didn't. While all those insiders are currently occupied with their investigations to provide additional information regarding more details, what specifically could occur in the fourth season? Well, smash that like button before I tell you some major plot details that might take place in Sonic Prime Season 4. Shadow is one character who appeared way too soon certain and reliable throughout the entire Sonic Prime series. Not only was this man composed and at ease, but he also made an effort to point others in the correct direction. We know that he has completed his mission and that the world has been saved by him and his friend Sonic. It may seem like a single, comprehensive story, and for Sonic alone, it truly is. There are still many issues from Shadow's journey to resolve, so his story is far from finished. Characters like Shadow are skilled at adding fresh perspectives to 
new existing plots, and he maintained this throughout the entire course, though it was difficult to accept that Shadow was now acting positively and wouldn't tease our Sonic, we can see that he has changed his mind now that everything is alright. While I do not believe that Shadow should play a villain, isn't it nostalgic to see our favorite character in his original story? I do have a different approach though. If they would rather sidestep this one, they could attempt to delve deeper into Shadow's world, where they could learn about his new foes and obstacles and meet a host of other fresh faces. Eventually, they'll be able to preserve the original Sonic Prime's show's vision while establishing a distinct viewpoint. Since the first season ended, we have been speculating about a few things, one of which being the appearance of Silver the Hedgehog. This character is building a devoted and enthusiastic fan base of their own for Silver's future. Characters like Silver have a great understanding of how to make effective use of some of the newest technology. By adding more technologies to Sonic Prime, he can effortlessly control the entire plot in a stunning and sophisticated way. It would be interesting to watch Silver, Sonic, and the others embark on a mission to locate that device while dealing with some fresh issues that might or might not be brought on by that unusual device. Silver's plot allows the studio to give us some fresh cameos, so it's a win-win situation for the audience and the business. Never thought I'd be glad to be back in New York. Season 4 of Sonic Prime has the potential to revive the Council of Chaos. Absolutely, I am fully aware that Sonic and the group defeated them by guiding them into the mystery of the Void. But is there a way to retrieve them? Sure enough, there is. I'll draw a connection between this particular plot and Silver's arc. As I said before, what if a mysterious device of Silver becomes lost in the Shadowverse? Let me improve its intrigue even further. What if while inviting numerous other entities from different dimensions, it disturbs the peace with its anonymous signals. It sounds thrilling, doesn't it? In order for Sonic Prime Season 4 to explore Shadowverse in a stunning manner and unravel its mysteries, given that there are tens of thousands of dimensions and that even a single mistake can cause significant disruption, this idea has the potential to produce a ton of new stories. A great ending is necessary for great stories. This journey ended with the third season, but it it was not finished. Shadow, Sonic, and every other character have failed to live up their faith. I'm attempting with faith to make a reference to Spider-Man Far From Home, which served as sort of an epilogue for the fourth MCU film. Marvel had many highs and lows during this period, but Far From Home served as the epilogue to that tale. Season 4 of Sonic Prime may also serve as the story's epilogue. He's after your energy. He's got the same energy that powers the city. During this speedy journey of our blue buddy, we've seen many twists and turns. The story, perhaps we should say a mission, is finally concluded in episode number 23. Many people are aware that Netflix cut one episode from the conclusion out of the original planned 24. The series ended on a cliffhanger as I stated. After offering it to save the Shadowverse, Sonic is on the verge of passing away when Shadow intervenes to save him. The power of Green Hills, Sonic's hometown, brings back reality and revives the titler Blue Hedgehog. And just when it appears that everything has fully returned to normal, an enigmatic and probably malicious presence is discovered. Although some people find Sonic Prime's climax to be satisfyingly conclusive, others are eager to find out what happens next. With no more seasons in the works, that may not happen. It's a frustrating situation, particularly considering one that would think Netflix would make more Sonic Prime episodes given the show's enormous success. However, it is said that the 24-episode run of the show has always been the original plan. It looks like there isn't much room for more at this point. Could a comic book possibly tie up any unresolved issues? It makes sense since Sonic the Hedgehog has been a comic book mainstay for a long time. Since the show has already had six animated iterations, there is no reason to believe that Sonic won't make a comeback in the near future in a format that is comparable. As the property is so well liked, we can almost guarantee that news of a second Sonic show will surface soon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.